Today on Beers TV Refacts, Soda Ash or Bicarb? Hi, I'm Ryan, your host of Beers TV. Refacts is all about quick, straight to the point answers to those questions reefers ask all the time. Today we answer, which alkalinity additive is best for making adjustments to my reef tank, soda ash or sodium bicarbonate? This is a super common question. I'm gonna give three distinct answers that cover the most common uses, occasional adjustments, daily maintenance like two-part, and as a solution for precipitation. The main difference here is the liquid sodium bicarbonate solution will have a very limited effect on the pH of the tank, making it the best for larger changes where we don't want to drastically raise the pH. The liquid soda ash solution does raise the tank's pH and best for small daily doses where raising the pH is desirable. So starting with the first option of making an occasional adjustment in your tank's alkalinity, like your goal's 8.5, but you notice it slipped to 7 or 7.5 over time, and want to make a single correction to get it back up. In this case, the best option is a jug of liquid sodium bicarbonate. So in that spirit, while you can use either, I think it's nearly universally agreed that anytime you use something like a reef calculator to make a single significant change to the tank's alkalinity, the best of the two options will always be the liquid sodium bicarbonate option just because you can adjust alkalinity up without drastically increasing pH at the same time. The sodium bicarbonate version is one household measuring cup and two tablespoons of Beerus Pharma sodium bicarbonate with enough RODI water to make a gallon of solution or roughly fill a gallon sized jug. In a pinch you could just use a box of food grade baking soda which is sodium bicarbonate but for long term use in a reef tank the Pharma grade single use pouches are the most popular. Most people just don't need to bother with a larger size than the pouch because a single gallon will likely last the entire year if only used for periodic corrections. Okay, so which is best for use in a daily two-part? Well, there I'd say that more than 90% of reefers use soda ash for the application because it raises the pH of the tank. While the pH effect is temporary, it's somewhat sustained due to the nature of the daily additions. Corals, coralline algae, and other calcifying organisms in the tank just grow faster, in many cases arguably healthier, at higher pHs, which is why soda ash is a preferred option by a vast majority of reefers. Okay, what about the last instance, which is related to undesirable precipitation in the tank? In some cases, despite a reefer's best efforts, they just have issues with precipitation and the soda ash base two-part. They're almost always solvable by just dosing slower to a high flow area of the tank and making sure that you're not overdosing, but in the end, it's just easier sometimes to dose liquid sodium bicarbonate than liquid soda ash. Using liquid sodium bicarbonate for the daily two-part will eliminate many sources of precipitation just because the pH of the solution is so much lower, so it might appeal to some, but this is a somewhat rare case. So in the end, I would advise most two-part users to have both a jug of liquid soda ash around for daily maintenance and a jug of liquid sodium bicarbonate for more significant or periodic additions. The single pouch of Beerus Pharma, which makes a gallon of solution, is super cheap and will likely last most reefers more than a year. Hopefully answered all your questions on using soda ash versus bicarb for your tank's alkalinity needs. If you have other questions, shoot the BRS team a quick email, chat or call. Even better, check out the links below to the Reef to Reef and BRS's Ask BRS TV Facebook group for community threads specific to today's exact conversation. Interested in free reefing gear? Every Monday in our live, Randy and I refund some preferred reefers last orders, but also just what's in your cart so you don't even need to buy it to win. This is just one of the preferred reefer perks, so check out the link down below. As always, if you find what we do here helpful, let us know with a quick thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to be instantly notified when we release new reefing videos like this one. See you next week with another episode of BRS TV.